Facebook here again to share with you guys another amazing video where we're gonna be upgrading my 13th gen system to some fatty 7600 megahertz, 32 gigabyte RAM. Now this, this RAM was the fastest that I saw available for this particular motherboard, which is the Aris Elite AX board, uh, the Z790. So I'm gonna be switching out that RAM. I'm also gonna be upgrading its um, SSD, its main SSD that has the operating system. Um, we're gonna be doing a refresh because we're gonna be popping this guy in. And this is all, again, the 13th gen Intel i9 13900KF. So let's just have some fun, shall we? Wait a minute, wait a minute. Let's not get too far ahead of ourselves, okay? I want you guys to know that the system before it wasn't configured with the available PSU to allow us to utilize the amazing 4090. But I switched out the PSU and now it is available to use the 4090. One of the reasons why I picked this system for the 4090 was I tried the 4090 with the 7950X, the new AMD processor on the, it was a gigabyte board as well. And it was fantastic doing close to like 450 frames or something. So now I'm willing to try, I'm just gonna give it a shot. And that was with the sweet spot 6,000 megahertz AMD Expo RAM. So this is the XMP certified RAM at 7600, along with that 4090. Yeah. Has anyone been able to get their hands on the PCI-5, the Gen 5, sorry, not the PCI-5, the Gen 5 SSDs from Gigabyte? I've been looking for them and I can't find them without paying four or $500 for some used SSD probably. It's, they're just sold out everywhere. So I'll get the next best thing, which is the 990. As was stated earlier, the Samsung Pro 990 on that SSD. Uh, should be a nice cool system with a bunch of fans and an all-in-one cooler there, as you can see. But let me stop yapping and let's start building. And I'm gonna, well, modding, should I say. I'm gonna pop it in. I didn't have you guys sit through me switching out that PSU. That was crazy. And I had to do that cable management. But I'll have you guys sit through a quick time lapse as I switch out the NVMe S, I'm sorry, the NVMe, yeah, the NVMe S2 or M2 drive um, and switch out that RAM. RAM! Already enjoying the benefits of that great processor on the seventh, I'm sorry, on this 13th gen board. This is like my seventh configuration <laughs> inside this uh, case, this chassis here, the Corsair 4000X. It's just a great mid-size, mid to tower size case not quite tower but big enough to fit the 4090 and big enough to handle all your cooling needs so yeah stick around So, welcome back, and I hope you enjoyed that little time lapse there. Everything's installed in there. However, I just thought about it. That was a fresh SSD or a fresh NVMe M2. Had no operating system on it. I'm going to have to load an operating system on the computer and do a fresh boot of our operating system. Um, I do have some USBs that have that. But, yeah, before I'll be able to really check out what 7600 megahertz on a 6 gig, it's a 6 gig motherboard um, or a board that's capable of doing it's a 6 gigs, a board that has a 990 Pro SSD, I'm going to have to first get that all set up. But, definitely stay tuned because we'll show you what that looks like once it's all done. So, to conclude, you guys, I really enjoyed this build and upgrading it to the newest, fastest RAM. And so, those test results that I had from User Benchmark, um, I don't do Cinebench results. If you guys want to look up Cinebench results for the specs that I mentioned, um, look those up. What I do is just a user benchmark. Go to userbenchmark.com and run your system through that little GPU slash CPU slash RAM SSD testing that it does. 
and it was a UFO. Um, exceptional in both workstation, um, also exceptional in both gaming. Um, one thing I noticed that I'm, I'm a Call of Duty title player, um, it was in, it was unstable when it came to Call of Duty. Um, it was giving me constant crashes uh, and many different issues in game. Um, I think I was only able to get through maybe one solid or two solid games. Um, what's interesting about all that too, you guys, is that I was doing like close to 400 FPS um, and all of that. And I don't know if Call of Duty was feeling that either. Um, Call of Duty kind of likes that sweet spot, 56, 48, 100 megahertz RAM. Um, I've noticed um, with a fresh Windows 11 install, Windows 10 sometimes works depending on your system specs. But uh, with the newer parts, I've noticed that Windows 10 has issues. Um, for whatever reason, the newer drivers or whatever it is on Windows 11 seems to work better. But again, it was a pleasure showing you guys this, these upgrades. Um, the 990 SSD works amazingly fine after I put back in the 5600 megahertz RAM. Uh, no more instability in game. Uh, system was still fast. Was able to do instant 6 gig. Was it having been able to go over 6 gig on this little basic cooler that I have, I guess, the cooling system I have? Um, I'm interested in learning some overclocking. And, and so maybe in some future videos, we'll do some Intel overclocking. Uh, we may do some AMD overclocking, but again, it's my pleasure bringing these videos to you guys and be sure to check us out again at 3enextgen.com.